good morning or good afternoon whenever you're watching this. We today are going to read you the story, If I Were the Easter Bunny. The author is an illustrator is Louise Gardner. All right, Veda's going to help me. Here we go. If I Were the Easter Bunny. If I were the Easter Bunny, I'd wake my friends up early. If I were the Easter Bunny, I'd fill my Easter basket with lots of chocolate eggs. If I and hide them all over the meadow for everyone to find. If I were the Easter Bunny, we'd have a happy hopping competition. Go ahead and hop, 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 like the Easter Bunny would. He hop, 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 hop. Mm. And Easter egg and spoon race. Ready, steady, go. That would be fun. If I were the Easter Bunny, we'd make pretty Easter bonnets. A bonnet is a synonym for a hat. And I'd lead the way in the Easter parade. Quick, march. Go ahead and march, everybody. March, 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 march. <laughs> if I were the Easter Bunny, I'd have a yummy picnic tea. Pretend to sip tea. Can you do it, Veda? Oh, silly. And at the end of the day, everyone would go home with a bag of yummy treats. But best of all, if I were the Easter Bunny, I'd save the very last egg just for me, M E me. Happy Easter. Easter will be here before we know it, boys and girls. A fun game that we've been playing here at our house is getting Easter eggs out and sorting them by colors. And then we hide them and count them. There's lots of fun things to do with Easter eggs before Easter even starts. We miss you. Bye.